The Oneida Casino has some new additions. Yeah, big stuff. Mm -hmm. Emily Deem is live in Ashwaubenon to tell us all about it. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everyone. We are at the main casino this morning, right across from the airport. Some exciting changes are taking place here. Kimberly Schuyler's here with me this morning. Wow. wow. What a change going on out here, Kimberly. <laughs> so exciting. We started this journey last year in June. We broke ground, and we will be completed this June. So it's so exciting this last year, everything that's gone on. As you can see behind us, we're kind of finishing this section. Um, we have all new carpeting, we have all new ceiling tiles, we updated our HVAC system. So this is kind of our final area. You can see the noodle bars under construction. It has been an amazing journey over the past 12 months. And this is just one portion. This is just one portion. We added five new restaurants. We're tripling the amount of non-smoking gaming overall for all of our properties. Um, it's, just good. it's just so exciting, we can't believe it. Now, there's also something exciting that's never been here before. Never. We want to go this way because at the West Mason location, there was actually a poker room. There was. Um, the poker room was located in our non-smoking area, and we actually moved it over here to the main casino. So now it has its own dedicated private room. It also has food and beverage service that's just for this room specifically. So it's wonderful. Our customers love it because one, it's private. It has doors so it can be enclosed, but it's still being right in all the action of all the gaming floor. So it's just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Customers love it. The employees love it. Something so, that's never been here. Something, that's something never exciting change. Been here. Very exciting. And Very I know exciting. an anniversary too. We want to talk about. Yes. So after this renovation is completed at the end of June, July is our 20th anniversary of the casino. So it's going to be July 10th through the 13th, and there's going to be all sorts of exciting things. We're going to reveal it all at the end of May. But 20 years that the main casino has actually been in existence. So it's such an exciting time, and so the renovation really tied nicely. And another thing too about the renovation, you stayed open throughout the entire oh, process. We did, and that was quite a challenge, not only for our customers, but for our employees, constantly kind of navigating all of the different areas through the construction, but it's amazing now that we can see that we're so close to having it done just eight weeks away. Everybody's so excited, you know? It's kind of like if you do it in your home, it's kind of a mess to live through, <laughs> yeah. but the end result is phenomenal, so we're very excited about it. And Absolutely. there's a lot more to show people this yeah. morning, like you were yeah. talking about the food, the restaurants, it's yes. unbelievable. Kimberly, thanks for being with us and I just have to go over here to Dave. He's man in the door, Rachel and Pete, but he's a big fan of Rachel and Pete's. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone, Dave? Yeah, good morning, uh, Pete and Rachel. <laughs> good morning. Like, I just want to say hi to him. And I was like, Dave, you can do that. He's like, I have to stand guard while you're in here, Emily, but he can say hi too. So you got a fan of When does here, he Rachel watch if he's standing guard? Yeah, when do you work if you're standing guard? Do you work all day? Uh, 11 to 7. 11 to 7. I think he's a little oh, tired. Oh, okay. Boy, no, he came in early for bit. M, I think. He did, I think so. So we're going to have more to show you, though, later this morning. We'll send back to you. I'll stand with Dave for a little bit.